Welp, I was gone from doing AFT news for over two months, and they still haven't found that fucking plane. So why even bother coming back? Speaking of why bother, Iraq's completely fucked again, and our brave and noble president is sending 300 military advisors this week to help train Iraqis to fight, which we've already done for the past decade, and these Iraqi army dipshits dropped their guns and bailed as soon as we left, and the first group of smelly dudes in pajamas showed up with AKs, moaning and wailing about being part of Mahdi Allah's plan for the nation to totally suck. Mr. President, Special Forces Advisors? Fuck, dude, been there, done that. We'd be better off sending in a few dozen lesbian high school track coaches to teach these guys better sprinting techniques so when they puss out, at least they won't strain or pull anything while running away. Speaking of situations that can only end poorly, that cat in Oregon that bit the shit out of a family so badly they had to call the cops on it earlier this year just bit the shit out of more people this week. Again, it's called a hammer. You can get one at the goddamn supermarket. They do not cost a lot of money. Swing away, motherfuckers, like Joaquin Phoenix in that crappy signs movie. Swing away. In other if it fucks with you, kill it with a hammer news. This guy in Rochester, New York, was yanked out of a kayak and nearly killed by an angry beaver until this guy, who looks like Bigfoot's illegitimate son, rescued him by beating the beaver to death with a canoe paddle that he broke over its head. Way to go, bearded hippie dude. You've just made me and a bunch of cryptozoologist paternity lawyers all over the world very proud. In other deadly water predator news, the Gulf Coast is gonna need a bigger boat and a bigger hammer because a one ton great white shark being tracked by satellites is heading into their waters as you watch this. I would recommend swimming at all times with at least two hammers, duct tape to shotguns, duct tape to chainsaws, or just staying out of the water completely, you morons. That's a pretty big toothy fucking fish. And speaking of crappy vacation spots, Universal Studios is open to Harry Potter theme park, or as I like to call it, the world's first fully functioning nerd petting and punching zoo. On the west coast of the United States, a British couple claimed they took a photograph of a ghost while on a tour of Alcatraz prison. And by took a photo, of course they mean took a photo of an empty window and then superimposed a blurry image of an old woman using Photoshop onto it just so they could be on TV for all of 17 seconds this week. In other prison news, a guy in Michigan tried to throw a football loaded with cocaine, marijuana, heroin, and three cell phones complete with chargers into a prison yard, but was thwarted by authorities this past Sunday. Somebody please check where Jungle was this past weekend just to be safe. Speaking of idiot criminals, a Stockton multi-felon has earned the honor of taking the most photogenic mugshot in the history of the internet which is a sad commentary on where we're headed as a society, i.e. the toilet, now that this has even become a thing. And finally, a porn star is running for a spot on a school board in Florida. But before you start rubbing one out to hot for teacher on your iPod, spoiler alert, it's a dude. And not even a dude with big fake tits. Yikes and bummer. That's the AFT News update for today. Be sure to subscribe to the new AFT News YouTube channel. I'm sure there's an annoying fucking annotation on the screen right now asking you to do just that. And leave a comment down below naming the worst vacation spot you've ever been to and why. We'll pick one of you at random to receive some free AFT stickers and similar bullshit. And winning just might be the greatest accomplishment of your whole goddamn life. So be sure to leave a comment now. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Rangers lead the way.